Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. Advancements in maritime technology have led many shipping companies to compete in creating their most advanced ships. The record for the largest ship in the world is still held by the Symphony of the Seas cruise ship, a result of the latest innovations by ship designers. But did you know that there is a giant ship that has successfully claimed the record as the widest ship in the world? Yes, you heard that right. The widest ship in the world is called the Ramform. The Ramform ship was designed by the Petroleum Geoservices PGS company as a platform for seismic operations to discover oil and gas reserves in the ocean with its extremely wide back deck. This wide back deck is perfect for installing and pulling a large and diverse array of equipment. The delta-shaped hull of the Ramform was designed by Rohr Ramde, a Norwegian Navy architect. The initial design of the Ramform seismic ship was inspired by the Norwegian Navy's intelligence ship called the FS Marjata. The curved waterline of the Ramform ship allows it to achieve stable movements. The Ramform ship itself consists of various models, with its first generation being named the Ramform Explorer, which was first launched in 1995. Initially, the Ramform Explorer was the first seismic ship to pull eight hydrophone tape rolls, then upgraded to pull 12 streamers. At its inception, the ship, with a length of 82 meters and a width of 39 meters, immediately broke all seismic performance and 3D endurance records. However, in 2010, the ship underwent a refit. After the Ramform Explorer in 1996, PGS began building another seismic ship type called the Ramform Challenger with a length of 86.2 meters and a width of 39.6 meters. Similar to the Ramform Explorer, the Ramform Challenger was also designed by Rohr Ramde. However, unlike the Ramform Explorer, which sailed under the Norwegian flag, the Ramform Challenger sailed under the flag of the Bahamas. Then, in April 2011, PGS signed a contract with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, a leading shipbuilder based in Japan. The contract signing included a project to build two special W-class Ramform ships. This contract agreement also included options to assemble two more ships within one year after the final contract signing. It is worth noting that the construction costs were estimated to reach up to $285 million, including commissioning and seismic packages for each new generation Ramform ship. The Ramform W-class ships were built at the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries shipyard located in Nagasaki, Japan. The details of the Ramform ships were made according to the designs provided by PGS. Then, in April 2013, following the contract signing, the first Ramform W-class ship was officially handed over to PGS. This ship was named Ramform Titan. Ramform Titan is one of the best and strongest variants of Ramform ships ever owned by PGS. This seismic ship with a length of 104.2 meters and a width of 70 meters has been fully integrated with GeoStreamer technology and offers high equipment redundancy. Additionally, Ramform Titan also has 24 controllable streamers for optimal results. 16 streamers are aligned behind, while 8 other rolls are aligned in front. The number of streamers owned by Ramform Titan is more than its predecessors, Explorer and Challenger. These tape rolls can pull sensor networks over an area of more than 12 kilometers. Three variable pitch propellers generate a power of 1.8 megawatts. This power is more than enough to pull widely scattered multi-sensor recording equipment. Its propulsion system allows full operation using only two propellers and one pair of engines. This ship also has two work boats at the stern to assist in maintaining streamer systems and marginal weather conditions. 
Thus, this wide ship can still perform maintenance in the middle of the sea without interrupting operations. With the features possessed by Ramform Titan, it is no wonder that a ship that can accommodate up to 80 crew members is an ideal platform for high-density 3D acquisition and reliable and compatible 4D projects. After its success, PGS built three more ships in the Ramform Titan class, Ramform Atlas, Ramform Hyperion, and Ramform Thetis. Basically, these four ships have the same length and width, not only that, but even the number of streamers is also the same, namely 24 tape rolls. However, there are some differences found in these four Ramform ships. All four ships are also equipped with wide back decks and have two workboats to assist in their operations. Physically, Ramform Atlas has a similar physique to Ramform Titan. However, the Ramform Atlas ship was only released in January 2014, one year after the official release of Ramform Titan. Then, the Ramform Hyperion, delivered in 2016, has some interesting differences. If previously Ramform Atlas and Ramform Titan had three variable pitch propellers producing power up to 1.8 megawatts, then Ramform Hyperion can generate a total power of 6,000 kilowatts with the same number of variable pitch propellers. These propellers are driven by a pair of redundant engines totaling 26.4 megawatts. Thus, it can pull all multi-sensor recording equipment using only these propellers. The dry docking interval for this ship is 7.5 years. Meanwhile, specifically Ramform Thetis has exactly the same technology as Ramform Hyperion. Starting from the length and width of the ship, the number of hydrophone tape rolls, the engine power and pitch propellers, dry docking interval to the year of release. But the difference lies in the normal operating mode. Ramform Thetis only needs to use 16 streamers, although this ship is also capable of pulling 24 streamers if needed. So how does the Ramform ship carry out seismic survey operations and handle data processing in oil, gas, and other underwater resource explorations? For information, the Ramform ship is included in the category of seismic survey vessels, which is also included in the list of offshore support vessels or OSVs. As the name suggests, this ship is specifically designed for seismic surveys to find the best areas for oil and gas drilling in the ocean. The method involves shooting seismic waves and measuring their return to determine if the area is suitable for drilling. Basically, seismic waves are generated beneath the Earth's surface and then captured by sensors called geophones when these waves bounce off rock layers beneath the surface. Seismic vessels at sea use a combination of air guns or water guns to generate the required pulses for seismic readings. The water gun method is more commonly used than the air gun method. This is because air guns produce unwanted secondary pulses after the initial shot, which can blur the waveforms, thus disrupting accurate data interpretation. Meanwhile, the water gun method works by injecting water into the sea, which solves the problem caused by air pressure. This aims to generate acoustic vibrations that can be read by geophones and interpreted to reveal geological features beneath the seabed. Whatever method is used, the returning pulses are captured by the geophones mounted on streamers previously deployed by the Ramform ship. The information collected by the geophones is then gathered into analog signals before being converted into digital signals and transmitted to the computers on the ship. Once the information from the geophones is received by the computers, it is immediately translated into a digital map below the surface. The ship's computer room consists of many computers located in a special instrument room. 
In this room, geophysical and geological experts analyze the digital map to determine the presence of hydrocarbons. This can certainly help oil and gas companies find new drilling wells in the ocean. The seismic survey process is not quick. The experts and crew aboard the ramform ship may spend days searching for the right location for oil drilling. Therefore, the ramform ship is equipped with complete facilities to support the activities of experts and crew on board. One of them is the cabin room, which serves as a resting place after work. Inside the cabin room, it is equipped with beds, desks, chairs, wardrobes, and clean and comfortable bathrooms. The crew will not go hungry either because this ship has many professional chefs who cook various delicious dishes for them. The crew can enjoy their meals in the dining room provided. To keep the experts and crew always in good condition, they can engage in sports activities in the sports hall available on the ship. Inside the sports hall, the crew can choose their favorite sports activities, starting from basketball, table tennis, volleyball to a fully equipped gym. The sports hall on the ramform ship also includes a sauna room that can be used by the crew after exercising. The ramform ship is also equipped with a helipad for helicopter landings. It is worth noting that the scheduled crew members will be transported by helicopter from the designated location to the ramform ship in the middle of the sea. In addition to transporting the crew, the helicopter may also carry other cargo that may be needed on the ship at any time. Thus, the helipad plays an important role on this ship. As for safety systems, the ramform ship is equipped with advanced lifeboats. These are not just rescue boats. The lifeboats also have clothing that functions as life vests. These clothes can be used by the crew in case of an incident inside the ship, such as grounding, fire, or sinking. Therefore, lifeboats play an important role in helping the safety of the crew on board. After learning about the various types of ramform ships and their features, it seems that this ship is more than just a large vessel holding the record for the widest ship in the world. Ramform has proven its performance in assisting the maritime and oil and gas industries in conducting seismic surveys in vast oceans. This is because the oil and gas industry is still one of the industries that boost the global economy to this day.